The Indian rupee had a disappointing July after a robust first half in which it outperformed its Asian peers currencies against the dollar. The rupee was the second worst currency behind only the Taiwanese dollar. This shift coincides with the weakening dollar on market expectations of Federal Reserve rate cuts as early as September. An important factor has been the Reserve Bank of India's policy of hedging currency fluctuations with record high foreign reserves. The RBI's tactic makes the rupee perform better when the dollar is strong compared to regional counterparts. But it falls behind when the dollar is weak. This comes even as Indian stocks have hit multiple new milestones and records in a strong economic outlook. Amit Babari, the managing director and founder of CR Forex, said the rupee seems to be trading within a tight range, with any dip swiftly attracting buyers. This trend appears persistent as the RBI seems reluctant to let the rupee appreciate to its fair value. He also added that this, despite strong fundamentals and the stock market reaching new highs, with the Nifty 50 touching the 25,000 mark, unless the RBI reduces its intervention pace, this pattern is likely to continue. Now, the Indian currency hit its weakest level on Friday, falling to a low of 83.75 against the dollar. This is the weakest closing level after hitting an all-time low of 83.7525 earlier on the session. The currency was nearly flat week on week and the currency marked all-time lows for six out of eight trading sessions late in July. However, interventions from the RBI have ensured that the rupee's weakness was capped. Still, RBI's dollar sales have been passive, indicating that the central bank prefers a slow depreciation rather than a sudden increase in value. Now, for more on this, we're being joined by Amit Pavari, the founder and MD of CR4X Live from Mumbai. Thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast, sir. Thank you. So we used your quote there as well. So can you explain the reasons for the rupees decline even as Indian stocks have hit multiple new milestones, record highs repeatedly? Yeah, yeah if you see the uh, kind of flows what we have been getting in last six to eight months, they are phenomenal. And apart from the flows, if you see dollar index, which was trading close to 106 kind of level in April and from 106 kind of level, it has come down towards 103 kind of a level, which is close to 3% appreciation. When dollar index comes down, technically speaking, all emerging market currencies get stronger, which has happened in the case of Chinese currency and Japanese currency. Apart from that, if you see the crude oil, which was trading close to $86 in the month of April, now has fallen by 15%. Despite all of the positive indicators, rupee uh, is getting weaker. You know, we can understand that from the RBI stand, in last six to eight months, they have observed close to 45, 50 billion dollars cap flow. Now, RBI might be thinking, you know, they are they, very smart cap out in RBI, very intelligent people. They might be thinking that whatever flows has come in, in last six to eight months, or whatever flow we are expecting it to come in next six to eight months, like uh, JP Morgan bond index flow, these are all flows in terms of capital account. And as a country, we are still net importers. So they might be thinking that, you know, let us observe the flows when they are coming, because capital account flows are generally volatile in nature. They come in fast and they go uh, fast also. So they do not want it to have an impact what has happened in 2013, 2008, because of any global issues, when the flows are going out, we do not see currency getting weakened by 5%, 10%. So probably they are in a view that let us observe the flow when things are good. When things goes bad, at that point of time, you can definitely sell your flows. So protecting the current currency in good and bad times both. Right. Well, sir, you pretty much summed it up for us and our viewers. I just want to understand overall, what's your rupee outlook for the rest of the year? Now, uh, if we see the fundamentals of Indian economy, they are strong. And as you said that uh, in the, you know, in the, in the channel, that India is the fastest growing economy in the world. So we expect Indian fundamentals to remain stronger for next six to eight months in the coming year. 
So when your fundamentals are strong, you can expect flows to continue to come in. So flows will be there. Now on the second part, we are expecting that US economic data will continue to underperform. And if that underperforms, that Fed will be uh, in a pressure to decrease the interest rate at the fastest pace. If that happens, then dollar index, which is currently trading near 103 kind of a level, it can move towards 100, that is the first target, and second target will be close to 98. Now, if dollar index comes down, then it is generally good for all emerging market currencies. So basically, technically speaking, on the upside, 84 to 8420 is going to act as a strong resistance for the pair. And on the downside, we might see rupee yeah, having a strong support close to 8320 and 8280 kind of a level. So uh, in a nutshell, we are expecting a range of 8280, 83 on the lower side, 8410, 8420 on the higher side. All right. Well, Mr. Babai, thank you so much for joining us on World Business Watch with your insights on this. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.